going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. I got loaded yesterday. Get up in the morning, get fuel, go pick up my load. The guys load me. I wait till he's done loading. Then I strap the load down. And uh, while I'm sitting there, you know, finishing my paperwork, I uh, make sure the the air um, build up in the trailer, you know, all the levels and everything, pressurize and, and level out. And so I pull away and I'm like, well, before I get there, if you've been driving for any length of time, usually you can tell within the first couple seconds when you pull away from somewhere, how the load's going to ride until you get it off. So I pull away. I was like, it seems like there's something wrong with the truck. Maybe it's just me. Maybe the air didn't build up all the way. Maybe the bags aren't, you know, where they're supposed to be at with the load on. So I'm like, no, nah, it's all right. It's all right. So I get down the road. It stabilizes a little bit. It's like, okay, all right. So I'm riding down the road, and it's like, what is wrong with this truck? I was like, I did everything I was supposed to do. Maybe I didn't strap the load down tight enough. Because with the flatbed trailer, you got to understand, there's two beams, how they're designed. There's You're riding on two beams, basically. There's two beams right down the middle. And then you got the platform on top. So when you put the load on and you strap it down, it completes the whole process of of the uh, of the structure. You know what I mean? Um, man, brother, man, that's deep. No, it's just, see, you got to understand the process of how things work, right? So... I'm riding down the road, and I'm like, I'm riding down the road, and we're, you know, we're kind of like dancing around, right, whole way down. I only had to go like 65 miles, so I'm riding down the road, then I'm using the brakes, and I was like, man, this truck is not stopping like it is. There, man, I know the brakes are good, because I just adjusted them last week, and I didn't run that many miles, and I'm not hard on my brakes, so I'm like, man, there is something going on. I'm going to have to take this truck in and have it looked at or something. The air pressure is good and everything. It's like, what in the world? So we're, we're dancing and I'm trying to stop and not, and you know, well, it's taking me longer to stop than what it usually does. Right. So I'm like, what in the world is going on? Maybe I checked the tire pressure. Tire pressure was good. Uh, not that it had anything to do with the stopping, but you no, know, in the corner, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning and stuff. I'm like, what in the world? It wasn't a really high load, you know? So I get to the destination, the the, sh the uh, receiver where I'm going. I take it off. And uh, so I'm, I, I'm empty now. So I'm going back. I had to do two loads yesterday. So I get get back to the place, get back to the spot. And um, I'm talking to the guy. I said, hey, put, put more weight in the front, you know? Uh, so there's more of my tandems because something didn't seem right. Truck wasn't riding right. He's like, oh, that's that liquid moving around in the back. <laughs> I didn't, when I picked up these totes, right, there were totes and I didn't think nothing of it. I just thought it was, I didn't think it was liquid. I thought it was, um, I thought the consistency of the liquid was a lot denser than what it was meaning that it didn't move you know what i'm saying or move not too much um but i didn't at the time i wasn't thinking nothing of it i'm just saying okay put the totes on man strap it down and go so i'm thinking man i need to really crank these things down so what was happening was this liquid is constantly moving shouts out to you tanker guys right this liquid is constantly moving back and forth and i wasn't used to that so I wasn't used to driving like that, you know, with the stuff constantly moving around like that. So that was giving me the symptoms of something wrong, what was wrong with my truck, with the airbags and the, um, the brakes not working right and everything else. So, and, and leaning in the turns, man, you going around the turn. I'm watching this thing in the trailer. The trailer was like, going like this in the turn. I was like, oh boy. But come to find out. Now the second load, I was cool because I knew what to expect. You know, it gets to, you just kind of like go with the flow. Uh, shouts out to your tank. So a lot of times, you know, we overlook, we just, you know, constant routine. We're just do our own thing. And then <laughs> sometimes we ain't paying attention, but you know, 
I guess, you know. See, brother, man, it's not perfect. I mean, um, we got to pay attention to detail. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we just got to pay attention. To, well, let me say, I got to pay attention to detail. Let me put it like that because I know I pay attention to detail, brother, man. <laughs> I'm not like you. <laughs> All right, man, I'll see you.